part of our uh, tech talk cluster i would like to request ajay deshkar sir to start the session with why entrepreneurship good afternoon to all of you <laughs> thank you thank you ketki uh, thank you ashish for uh, making me a part of uh, yet another session with uh, uh, magic it's uh, a privilege to be here uh, in my a town where i made my career where i, st I studied and uh, uh, have a lot of uh, affinity to uh, and very happy to be uh, sharing stage uh, with dr pansare yogesh tushar and uh, thank you very much for giving me this opportunity the topic here today was uh, uh, announced to me as something else so uh, but this is one topic that i am very happy to uh, do because this needs no preparation and uh, i also uh, happen to conduct uh, entrepreneurship development programs uh, uh, as a part of my hobby uh, and i am just announcing here that any one of you would be welcome to my office uh, without appointment just to come and meet me to see uh, how uh, i can help you to become an entrepreneur in that sense so that's an open invitation for you. the uh, topics which i am uh, going to cover today uh, is giving me a uh, giving a slight background ye kon aake khada ho gaya yahan pe aur i just wanted to tell you that i have been an entrepreneur for my life and uh, that would definitely uh, encourage all of you that it's necessary that uh, we need to take that those steps uh, why i chose to be an entrepreneur why you should choose to be an entrepreneur uh, are some of the points which i have covered here and then i have gone into uh, some basics of entrepreneurship so you know that it's not very difficult uh, a few things here and there and you can manage things uh, industry segments and opportunities uh, a slide on that and then uh, uh, some inspiring stories uh, just a few of them and uh, how you could be an entrepreneur within your job as well so it's uh, all around entrepreneurship uh, entrepreneurship is not just doing business of your own but it's a, a way of life where you just think more innovation uh, for yourself and for the company you work with if that company you work with is your own well and good so that's that's the whole theme of uh, this discussion here all set already yes sir so i'll give you my background uh, anybody from gika here gk gika here good so i was hoping to have some uh, younger bloods here and uh, wanting to get a cheer from this tower there uh, that you see uh i happen to be a, a graduate from uh, government uh, engineering college aurangabad 1987 uh, there were only three streams at that time mechanical electrical and civil so uh, there were three streams in aurangabad uh, there were a few fortunate ones who were very brilliant and then chose to go to pune or mumbai to study production electronics or chemical engineering and uh, 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 we had uh, uh, a norm that time that everybody would want to go for a government job मुली चांगल्या मिळायच्या कदाचित दॅट्स द होल पर्पज दॅट आय डोंट नो अबाउट हुंडा आय कॅनॉट टॉक अबाउट इट ऑफिशियली बट डेफिनेटली मुलीच्या वडिलांना जास्त चांगलं वाटायचं एखादा गव्हर्नमेंट जॉब मध्ये एखादा मुलगा असेल तर त्याला मुली द्यायला सो दॅट वॉज द होल थीम ऑफ दॅट टाईम फॉलोइंग दॅट देर हॅव बी थ्री जनरेशन वेअर वी हॅव सीन दॅट अ गुड प्रायव्हेट जॉब ऑल्सो मेड सेन्स uh we were uh, fortunate enough to have bajaj auto coming to aurangabad exactly at that time we were the second batch which passed out and joined bajaj auto that time and uh, uh, computers were aliens i mean uh, there are just two computers i don't know which version there was a large floppy disk i remember and it was always under lock and key and there were two students in our class who only had the access to that room nobody else and we used to look at uh, those computers as if we are taking a baraji darshan from from a distance guru namaskar asha pujatini because we are not allowed to go there and uh, there were two toppers of our college obviously they did good for themselves in the uh, after life as well but they were the only two students to go into that computer room uh, with the uh, keys coming from our professor uh, i remember uh, dr ar ke that time so that was the age that i come from it sounds like stone age uh, for all of you today uh, and then uh, what inspired me I, of course i continue with continue with my background i uh, uh, did my post graduation in touro and training center delhi immediately after my graduation and this was all because of the focus i got a one fantastic uh, uh, teacher in the third year uh, who inspired me uh, about the subject of tool engineering tool design 
and I was so happy with that subject that I thought that if I have to study further, I will study that subject. So that focus, uh, there are only two options in the country to do uh, the uh, post graduation in that study, the follow up with me uh, helped. And then following that, uh, I started my own tool room immediately after my graduation, post graduation. So uh, in a sense that I walked into my own factory. Uh, on the first day, I landed in uh, uh, Aurangabad from Pune. So uh, obviously the second day, because I, on the first day, I went and purchased my first motorcycle. And uh, with the same motorcycle, I went to my own factory on the second day of uh, my arrival in Aurangabad. And that's how uh, my entrepreneurial journey started. I, I also dwelled into the advertisement world and you might feel what's all this nonsense, but yes, uh, that's what I did as well. Uh, I also uh, helped co-found an uh, engineering uh, services company here in Aurangabad, moved to Pune and uh, established an engineering consulting firm called 3D Engineering, which I am representing today, uh, and it has a national presence uh, today. It has been 34 years since, uh, and my entrepreneurial journey continues, my learning continues, and I am very happy to say that uh, uh, I would rate myself as a very successful entrepreneur in that sense. And I am coming from the same mati, as you say, uh, I am very sure that all of you uh, would like to relate to that story that uh, we can all become entrepreneurs one day. So, uh, a little bit about uh, my organization which uh, I am representing, uh, 3D Engineering. Uh, we have close to about uh, 200 plus people, the last count was 220. Uh, we have grown very fast, we have been uh, growing at 20 times the uh, last 10 years. Uh, we have uh, served ten, uh, uh, more, more than a thousand customers across uh, the country and uh, we have very strong partnerships. We are the largest partner of Siemens PLM. Uh, PLM, by the way, uh, is what these three concentric circles are. We are talking about a product which is born or conceived from there to its death. So from the cradle to the death of uh, a product uh, is called as the life cycle of a product. So we are into the industry of product life cycle management. And in the product life cycle management, uh, we have products. Uh, which are coming from these large conglomerates, uh, global leaders like Siemens, ANSYS. We are also representing EOS and uh, uh, Intech for uh, the additive manufacturing part where we have uh, one of the largest footprints of metal additive manufacturing machine in the country. And uh, uh, we are representing a startup, an American start, uh, startup called IQ3 which is into virtual reality. So we are all in the tech that we are all listening and hearing all around uh, us today. And so virtual reality, additive manufacturing, IoT, all of these buzz buzzwords, we are right into the middle of it. So uh, please reach out to me again an open invitation to all of you. This is the graph, uh, if you can see the line, thin line, is how we have grown. Uh, this is a this is a outstanding, I mean we ourselves get overwhelmed by the graph that we see. And we started in 1999 uh, as a company, as a partner of Unigraphics uh, Solutions that time, which was acquired by Siemens. We started our own Bangalore office in 2009, we expanded in Mumbai, we started a, or we acquired a company in Chennai, uh, we started our services division in, uh, and ANSYS partnership in 2016, uh, we started uh, our expansion in North, so we have our NCR uh, uh, team coming up, uh, we also partnered with other uh, uh, things and in this year, 2023, we have moved to our own large 13,000 square feet office and we, are, uh, we have crossed the coveted uh, uh, number of 100 crore. Uh, as a top line for our organization. So that's how we have grown. And uh, this particular growth, uh, why I am to tell you is this is not a sales talk. So uh, just forget uh, that I am talking to customers. Why I wanted to show you is because I wanted to inspire you to see what can happen from uh, people who have come from this ground. So with that story, uh, I just wanted to end about myself and I want to talk about you. Uh, but before that, uh, let's also talk about why I chose this. And uh, this route was chosen by me primarily because uh, I uh, I got inspired by the thought. I, I First of all, uh, there was a lot of buzz around this. My dad himself uh, started his entrepreneurial journey alongside with me. So he was a principal of a college and he said, uh, I'm taking a, a early retirement and starting my own business. Uh, if he had told me what business he was starting, I would have done that stream of engineering, uh, which uh, of course didn't happen. He happened to be an entrepreneur himself. I was of an entrepreneur of a different stream, which was tool engineering, manufacturing engineering and all of that. So that was the inspiration I had got from my own family, a very strong encouragement from my family. There's no pressure of performance in the sense that uh, my dad said to me, I have to pay for 2-4 years of money, I have to pay for 2-4 years of money, and I have to pay for 2-4 years of money, I have to pay for 2-4 years of money. I have to pay for 2-4 years of money, I have to pay for 2-4 years of money, 
अशा प्रकार वातावरण मैं वाड़ी मु आई कन्सिडर मै सेल्फ एज प्लेन लकी वेरी हैप्पी टू से दैट दैट लक ऑल्सो वॉज सपोर्टेड बाय अ लॉर्ड ऑफ एफर्ट्स फ्रॉम ऑल ऑफ अस एज अ टीम एंड देन आई हैपन टू कम टू दिस स्टेज यू ऑल ऑफ यू ऑल दीज यंगस्टर्स दैट आर सीटेड इन फ्रंट ऑफ मी शूड ऑल्सो लुक फॉर आंट्रप्रनरशिप एज अ ऑप्शन फॉर युअर करियर एंड नो बेटर टाइम दैन नाउ यू आर सीटिंग एट अ मैजिकल मोमेंट Why I say this is a magical moment is because when we became engineers and I started my own tool room in 1989, we were still in the license raj, so-called license raj. I don't know how, how many of you uh, have the study of the recent uh, history uh, of uh, evolution of the uh, engineering industry in India or the economy of in uh, India. 1991 was primarily when the license raj came out of its uh, shackles, and uh, we started looking at something which was a little more freer economy. and uh, you are here today in one of the fastest growing economies of the world the geopolitical situation of the world is all for india uh, none other than india shows growth in so many of the sectors including the basic agriculture they were talking about manufacturing service so we are in double digits at least 12% growth every year and so uh, is the case with uh, ecosystem of the uh, startups in india so uh, no better time than now and uh, why why i should become entrepreneur several reasons i mean i just list them uh, one after them uh, and you'll realize of course i'll take some questions from you you are free you are expressing yourself you have the complete control you have uh, Im immense possibilities you can work from anywhere for anywhere uh, uh, you can you can follow your passion and continue to do uh, earning uh, for yourself you can keep learning things forever uh, you have you can lead a su very successful life you can have uh, tax benefits as a fringe benefit coming out of this uh, activity you have your financial freedom and uh, you can make the difference for the world around you so these are some of the top things that came to my mind and uh, off the net i mean obviously uh, you you have google and you can just search why you should become an entrepreneur and all of this will come in front of you let me elaborate uh, each one of them one by one so why after all uh, you should choose entrepreneurship as one of your career options Uh, is you are free and independent what this means is uh, that does not mean that uh, uh, and i am not demeaning anyone who is doing a job here or wants to do a job here because you should be in an environment where your employer uh, should also be able to give you that freedom of work or the independence but obviously an organization runs with a set guideline there are rules there are uh, policies there are uh, you know uh, set norms by which the organization runs and very few organizations uh especially as as soon as they become a little larger or mid size do not allow their employees to go uh, away uh, from their main ro role or whatever that is ani jase yala mantat ki apan japda laun kaam karto tashi japda laun bare sala kaam karava lagta nothing uh, wrong about it japda laun kaam kelelya mansan mue aaj bharat it kshetra madhe evda motha jhalela hai so i don't uh, uh, also again want to demean this but at the same time i want to give you options that you can be a free bird a bird who can fly uh, out of the pinjara you have the control you uh, what you see here as an icon is just a remote control somebody wanting to control you uh, you can rather control your uh, your team here and uh, uh, do not let someone else uh, define the growth path for you you can define your own growth path you can uh, say you can pace that for example Uh, during these 34 years uh, of my career has everything been fine and uh, has everything been fine on my business front has everything been fine on my family front or uh, otherwise no of course not uh, that, that would have been like a uh, lucky luckiest star on the world but there have been times when uh, things were not going good i took a pause i took a slow uh, pace uh, i took a back foot just uh, upon matches madhe bagto if you have early wickets going uh, you have rohit sharma and maybe gil somebody like a gil coming and hitting uh, in the first uh, 10 overs but then slowly what ha what happens is as soon as uh, a couple of wickets go the the number 3 number 4 go on the back foot want to play a slow game want to say that the pace will be slower and things like that that's how all you can do in a job you are limited because what you have to do is you have to run at the pace where the organization is defining you you have possibilities i have done that you just saw that Uh, from start from having a tool room i went into the advertising world that was also my passion uh, uh, i went into an engineering services company with when i traveled 23 companies uh, countries 
and uh, acquired a lot of uh, customers across the globe. Now I am in Pune and doing uh, business where the business is, which is India. And uh, all of these flexibilities I have got because I have always been on my own. You can uh, you can get the power of working for uh, uh, boundaryless. Uh, condition where you are working for uh, your customer from anywhere for anywhere and uh, that's uh, one of the uh, important aspects of uh, being an entrepreneur you can follow your passion what what is this uh, is very important is uh, no sorry uh, uh, everybody of you have, may have a passion i mean uh, uh, i don't know uh, in the first year of engineering when i uh, I did and I recently, uh, someone asked me if uh, Divayam Kamal to make lake liu shakta ka. So my heart is passion hai ki Vidyar Thanna hai liu unne aise ki wawa tumhi hai ka kara la baje, kutla career ni wada la baje. Then I wrote about this that engineering cha first year cha pahila lecture madhe, uh, we used to make a print, I mean a uh, uh, written uh, newspaper, we used to make a magazine, a uh, handwritten magazine on the back benches where it was always written as a matha ma ki wawa ajay deshkar engineering sodna. It's a current asuki, my passion was into art. I was always an artist, I wanted to do graphics design. And that's where probably that uh, uh, ad word thing comes up. So you can have that passion, you could be a singer, you could be an artist, you could have something else, but you can join that along with something which is uh, helping you to do business. So you can enjoy doing your business and earn too. So that's what I'm trying to tell you, that that's something that uh, is one of the important aspects. Uh, you can keep learning, and I, you say that are the of best even today, uh, I happen to be one of the brightest students of my uh, institute where I continue to learn every day uh, newer and newer technologies to try and see if those technologies can be applied for my customers. And uh, believe it or not, I am still doing online courses. Uh, I am doing a course from an American university to make sure that I keep myself updated on the management grounds. Be a successful, make a successful life out of your uh, career. Uh, that's why you should be an entrepreneur. You can set your own goals. The most important aspect is nobody else should say that this is your target. You should be able to define the it for the There are there are uh, some of my friends who chose to retire at, at the age of 45. There are some of them who say ki me I should work kam karat because work is my passion and so on and so forth. So you can say what is the success for me myself. So there are several uh, ways you should be defined and that is how the entrepreneurial uh, way of life gives you uh, those flexibilities. You can save taxes. This is a fringe benefit because if you are working for someone else and you have a, a set pattern, your, uh, no, your taxes will be cut by your employer because that's the mandate that the government follows and you don't have anything to plan. Uh, as an entrepreneur, you can uh, show all of your expenses uh, on the on the right side and uh, make sure that those uh, uh, debits are taken away from your earning. Uh, you get financial freedom. Uh, look at the business as a third entity. You can see that And of course, you can do good. You can do good to the world around you. Uh, think about it. Uh, uh, starting from the first day of my uh, first day of my operation in 1989 to 2023, I may have very easily come across at least 5,000 students uh, coming to me for an interview, uh, for a job, or for uh, some. And I have tried to groom, I tried to talk to them. We are also working with many uh, engineering colleges, setting up center of excellences across the country in National Institute of Technologies in Nagpur, in Warangal, in Suratkal as a part of my business. And I get to interact with many students. And I see that giving employment gives me a lot of fun. Giving the knowledge that I have gives me a lot of fun. You could be uh, doing a CSR. We are right now uh, uh, no, seated, all of us are seated here because of the CSR that Tata Technologies is doing. And that is how uh, organization, as an, even a small or large organization that you are, you could be uh, doing a lot of uh, uh, for the society around you. So with this, I think I have convinced enough. So uh, my favorite dialogue is, because in my opinion, I can continue about why you should be an entrepreneur. I can give examples from my life, but obviously we are uh, on a set timeline. And uh, uh, I think the next speaker will be looking at me and saying, uh, but that's that's how uh, how much I can keep talking about why you should be and uh, be looking at entrepreneurship. So there are five stages of getting into an entrepreneurship. Uh, uh, nothing out of the uh, what you can say, uh, rocket science. 
uh, you just have to discover, uh, do a concept development, uh, do resourcing, actualization and harvesting. What all of this mean, let us see. You could be having a hobby, you could be uh, looking at the uh, uh, you know, world around you, land body pratyeka cha manna madhe asala asal ki ar chashmela vaipar asta ta kaya dhala asta. I think everybody thinks about it or maybe uh, can I have a goggle with a number because varamvar samta goggle khala cha se ta jala number ahe, power ahe, uh, can you wear a goggle or not. So many questions come to your mind and only, many of such thoughts actually go into uh, becoming a successful idea. So think about such an idea, you could be having a hobby as I said. You could be looking at, uh, for a demogra demography around you and say Ki, oh, yeah, demography so ki, there should be something that I should be able to help. So that's the discovery stage of your uh, business. Uh, the concept stage is once you have the identified idea, you could go into making a concept of it, making a business plan with details such as what scale you want to do it, uh, who would be the people who would be running it, what kind of finances will be required for that. And again, nothing better than today because the, the startup ecosystem is such that business made pass pass dahada or last year lela company company na millions of dollars meet up. Hey, if a startup ecosystem made is possible. So you see around and you will see the examples of large organizations who are here never going to be making profits. No, uh, I don't want to na take names here, but such large startups have never been in profit, but yet they have always got millions of dollars in in funding. Resourcing, look at the capital investment that you will require, the human capital you require, the raw materials and all the supplies, etc, etc. The actualization, you start, kick off, market, spread the world uh, and start the day-to-day -day operations. Once you have, uh, no, once two, three years have uh, crossed, you can start harvesting, you can look for newer geographies, you can look for newer uh, products in the same, uh, 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 what you can say, product line and you can have uh, organization structures uh, changed based on the growth that you are having. So these are the basic steps. Uh, I think this does not mean too much thing, but I think I'm just wanting to put you a guideline about how you could uh, probably go in making an entrepreneurship. So uh, I would like to introduce a concept which is my own and I have always wanted this to be known to everyone that you see a table here and this table has uh, you know, four legs, every table, most of the tables have four legs. and. Uh, uh, there, there are also uh, what you can say levelers at the bottom and I often make uh, this comparison of a table with the businesses that you are into, any type of a business that you are looking for one of the legs to be the technical execution, you are looking for another leg to be the finance of the organization, the third leg to be the, uh, the human resource and the fourth one is the business development or sales or whatever that is. So your business is standing on these four legs and if any of the legs is shorter, then your table will not be stable. So, upon uh, hotel, we have to say that 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 is what I am talking, uh, talking here. We have to say that 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 we so always look at the business from these four perspectives and always make sure that you have somebody who can help you patch up one of the legs which, which is shorter so that the table is stable. For that what you need to do is do a SWOT analysis, I am not going to be uh, into too much of management theory uh, but I am definitely wanting to go into something which uh, you have to be aware of and what you have to be aware of are the myths that will that you will come across. The first one is uh, an entrepreneur is born and not made, which means that are to the kaya business world mother jagala janmala lata. That's the kaya roba. He has a silver spoon in his mouth by the time he was asat kahi hi nahi hai. You look at the statistics. Second generation entrepreneurs have the most percentage failures. So I repeat here that I am using a word which should not be said, but अपना बाप जर का अंतर्पनर रसे तो अपन सक्सेस होने जे चांसेस कमिया है जर का अपन सोता अंतर्पनर जानो तब तुम जे चांसेस ऑफ सक्सेस इज मच हाईर सो आई वांट टू टेल यू दिस एज अ स्टैटिस्टिक्स आई डोंट वांट टू गिव यू नंबर्स हियर अनदर मिच इज दैट अंतर्पनर्स आर गैम्बलर्स तरना काय नुसते पैसा लावायचा आणि पैसे काढायचे अशा प्रकारचा आहे असं काहीही नाहीये वी लिव्ह इन अ सोसायटी व्हिच वाज लार्जली सोशलिस्टिक समाजवाद तुम्ही कदाचित बघितलंच नसेल त्या काळी परंतु uh, the reason why uh, Tata's plant Singur Varna 
गुजरात मध्ये गेला याच महत्वाचं कारण तेच होतं की त्या रिजनला कळलंच नाही की अंतरप्रनरशिप इथे आली असती तर काय झालं असतं सो अंतरप्रनर्स आर ऍक्च्युली द पीपल हु आर द बॅकबोन ऑफ द इंडियन इंडस्ट्री टुडे अँड दे आर नॉट द वन्स हु आर इंडल्जिंग इन माल प्रॅक्टिसेस दे आर द वन्स हु आर ऍक्च्युली डुईंग गुड टू द सोसायटी यु नीड टू स्टार्ट एज यंग हाय कुठंबीत आहे वन ऑफ माय पार्टनर्स इन थ्रीडी इंजिनिअरिंग हॅज जॉईन मी टू इयर्स बॅक अँड हु इज माय एज सो Uh, there's no age limit absolutely please uh, remember that when you feel you are ready you can start and uh, you need to be uh, a student of business or management to be able to be a successful uh, entrepreneur no absolutely not so yeah paanch myths la in my opinion i'm ready to burst any time with gi- giving you a lot of examples there are seven components of making a business plan again if you have already thought of being into business uh, i think i'm on time uh, make a executive summary of what you want to do uh, uh, write down the concept uh, make the market analysis ki apan kuthe kuthe he karnar ahot what is going to be the team that from your organization is going to manage and don't worry here i am not saying ki tumhe ek khup moti organization pahije you could say that one part of my time can be used for management and the other time can be used for marketing as well so asa kai nahi you could be a one man organization i have seen that happening uh, in a very close uh, 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 area where one of my friends was an entrepreneur started an ad agency in aurangabad and within couple of years uh, the person reached the title uh, the turnover of 1 crore just by himself the only one person uh, you should have a financial plan and you should have a operations management team or a plan so i think these are the seven components to um, be successful with the uh, with the components of uh, being an entrepreneur uh there are a few industry segments again just to entice you just to see that uh, you know things move a little bit ahead you could be a technology how many of you are from computer science it okay good so that's a very good mix i want uh, i generally uh, don't like people uh, who uh, start their career with it primarily because i believe that it is everywhere it is into manufacturing engineering for all my 34 years Uh, i have been doing it for manufacturing but app based startups are the biggest thing uh, they are uh, in my opinion very easy to start because they are all virtual uh, we have uh, engineering and r&d as one of the areas where you could choose electromagnetic systems electromechanical systems uh, electromagnetic of course electronics robotics 3d printing iot we have uh, yogesh here who is coming from the 3d printing business virtual reality and all of these have business opportunities again as i said i invite you to talk to me one to one to help you understand what the opportunities can be there because uh, one hour is too short for uh, everything to talk about we have uh, healthcare one of the very important areas where startup ecosystem is thriving uh, you could have patient care old age uh, uh, support uh, drug research medical equipments and things like that lot of things i mean you just think of it ekada problem disla ki tya problem ka kasa solve karaycha he fakta tokya madhe rahilo pahije and endless possibilities so you can think of anything agriculture uh, no uh, environment uh, social entrepreneurship and all of that uh, in, including uh, included but there's no no limiting you into the segmentization so yes uh, there's no limits this is when i started talking about even if you are working for someone else you could be an entrepreneur and this is one thing that at least in my organization i recognize Uh, we have become a, become a, a national player now we have offices in chennai bangalore uh, aurangabad uh, gujarat north india and do you believe i can travel all of these places at one time obviously not so i just have to have entrepreneurs with me who are owners of that region so we have a uh, starting with we had a unwritten contract now we have a written contract of all the managers who are owners of the businesses at that place they own the uh, the budget that is designed at the beginning of the year and they have the flexibility to earn as much as they can save from that business line so even as uh, if your organization is allowing you uh, uh, and today the organizations have become a, become a little more flexible there are many startups around you which have uh, uh, you know uh, benefited from having the model that they are wanting to work with and they give the flexibility for the people who are working for them there are a few challenges uh, if you can overcome them uh, i talked about the four legs of the four of the uh, table uh, as a uh, corollary of uh, the business and the first one is as you start the business timely delivery is the biggest thing that you can uh, come across 
competition india is a very me to kind of a country if somebody succeeds everybody wants to uh, copy you and uh, somebody may be better than you so you may have to be better than them uh, another is peer pressure are apla shejar sa jo goind asto to nehmi jast smart ar asto so ai nehmi manat asti ki are tela bak kiti shan kamavto hai to tu tu kai tari karat basla swata jo tela already 12 lakh cha pagar hai so all of these are very big pressures especially in the age where the salaries have started becoming too welcoming too encouraging uh, for for actually luring you but uh, they are i can tell you stumbling blocks for you to become an entrepreneur uh, managing finance costs uh, because uh, if you don't have your own you have to fund your uh, business and you can land up in a situation where the interest costs are very high and attracting and retaining manpower and i can tell you for sure this is a problem for a startup it's a problem for an, for an organization like me and if you look at infosys their attrition is 32% so this is something that will happen all around the world and uh, uh, especially in india where there are so many opportunities uh, this is going to be a problem so what is the solution to that the solution is find your mojo in one of the legs of this table which is technology and execution it ka strong asle pahije ki baki cha sagge tinni pay langde jari asle tari you should be having an ecosystem which will come and support you but you should be so strong in your technology or your execution plan that everybody should be able to say that nahi yaar iske upar paisa lagana chahiye iske is ye organization mein jaan lagani chahiye all of that so i think i have given you uh, enough to do that i'll try to uh, end with some inspiring stories uh, and there are so many uh, i don't know if you have seen them anybody can raise their hand and know who these are come on अरे खूब कठिन नहीं है ओके दीज आर द यंगेस्ट यूनिकॉर्न इन 2023। थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी थ्री डू यू नो वॉट इज यूनिकॉर्न इज अ बिजनेस वर्थ वन बिलियन डॉलर्स दे स्टार्टेड एज 19 एंड 20। बोथ ऑफ देम आदित एंड कैवल्य एंड अनफॉर्चुनेटली बिकॉज प्रॉब्लम औरंगाबाद डज नॉट हैव दैट डू यू नो वॉट इज जेप्टो Zepto is a delivery app. Zepto is made for those IC people who don't want to go and buy Kothimbir in the market, don't want to go and buy, uh, no, or they don't have time. But Zepto is a one billion dollar company in two years. Twenty one year old guys today. I have taken such examples. Anybody knows who this person is? Nikhil Kamath. Good. So this is Nikhil Kamath, the founder of Zeroda, and again uh, millions of dollars uh, within a short time. Uh, anybody knows who is this? anybody yes very right so is bhavesh agrawal the founder of ola and this person this is dipinder goel of zomato so i have taken these four examples i don't know i just thought uh, when uh, ashish told me that you talk about uh, entrepreneurship let's take some examples which are inspiring young because they are all you are or even younger than you but it, let us not stop at here we have 1 lakh 12 thousand uh, 718 startups registered in india so there are so many success stories around more than a lack of success stories india's backbone is small and medium so msme stands for micro small and medium industries there are 1.28 crore msmes in india who are running a business worth of gdp 2.5 lakh crores annually and that is how much small industry can contribute to the economy of india and for us How's the Josh? Hi sir. I don't listen to it. How's the Josh? Hi sir. Good. Thank you very much and wish you all the best. Questions? Any questions? Uh I am Mandar Akshar sir. came along with the shreyas college of engineering students okay. uh, my question is uh, actually two questions job versus entrepreneurship on one side and on another, on the another side happiness versus satisfaction uh, can you say something about that and uh, second question is uh, if somebody wants to take some initial steps so uh, learning the technology is something different which is your arm Through which you can earn the clients. 
but approaching to the clients what are the softwares through which uh, or what are the qualities that they need to improve upon first of all to go towards that thing see happiness versus uh, success sadguru <laughs> ngade jaavala gel i am not the person probably that's a little of a philosophical question uh, everybody has a different uh, definition of what happiness or satisfaction is as regards to your first you you talked about to my job versus uh, uh, entrepreneurship was the first one my opinion is uh, today uh, uh, you are much better off uh, doing any of them any of them kar sangay jat that even jobs have a lot of opportunities uh, of being an entrepreneur in that sense <coughs> again i go back to the philosophy of entrepreneurship rather than definition saying that uh, entrepreneurship is making your own business no i am talking about being uh, a free Uh, independent thought uh, uh, thinking person uh, with innovative mind which which ideas you can apply now those if you are allowed to apply in a job i think that is the job i uh, i should be looking for uh, and if uh, i were to do a comparison if you are on your own then all of this comes to you as a baggage anyways so my opinion uh, uh, not everybody can be an entrepreneur uh, but at least as many as you can be uh, that's not only good for the society good for you as well there are only a few initial years when you have to struggle uh, a little bit more having those challenges like the peer is doing much better than me but that's only a few years to kaal ka apna sochta hai sir i think uh, the answer to the first question is business second question is what are the software uh, is again a question which is uh, uh, which of those four legs you want to control in your business for example Uh, if you have finances covered you might say that i can uh, employ people who are the technology side or if you have uh, people working with you and you have the finance or the market available then you don't have to worry about who is going to work for me because you can employ people so it is all based on the business idea that you are working on and uh, depending on what kind of leg you want to give support to uh, you should be able to so if you are uh, very strong even though you know the technology you are working in and you don't want to work as a technologist in your own company and you want to manage finances the software that you should be working is uh, finance management so that's that's the answer which i would like. hope i have been able to thank you sir good afternoon sir good afternoon. sir uh, i look myself as a future entrepreneur yes, sir uh, my question is that when in future i have uh, one strong business idea then uh, i've needed the suggestion from you then how can i reach to you um, yes write down my email id all of you. ajay aj a y yes aj a y dot deshkar d e s h k a r at 3d e n g g dot com dengg.com is for dengeengineering.com thank you sir just reach out to me with this reference of magic uh, tata technologies event that you were in and i'll, I'll definitely want thank you sir good afternoon sir good afternoon sir uh, my doubt was related to your uh, the four foots of the table uh, technological and execution uh, you suggested uh, i wanted to ask that sir if a company uh, is already having a a uh, strong foothold or in a particular domain or they have a large market value in that domain and i want to start my entrepreneurship in that domain but would it be more feasible for me to sell my execution or technology to them rather than to start my own entire setup see this type of a business is typically called as a b2 business uh, looking at someone else who is more successful in a particular domain and you want to do a business in the same i would rather suggest that you should be able to define why then you want to repeat what somebody else is doing so i don't want to repeat what they are doing i have a innovation in right. that uh, let me complete so uh, if you have reason to believe that you have something else that you can do better than them then you can go to them with that idea with the same company to that or to the best way to do that and best way how startups do that is start on their own make sure that that differentiator is made no uh, a presence of because it's such a lucky uh, generation that you are that you can reach out to a million people through social media and i'm sure the company that you want 
need to come and acquire you, we'll reach out to you. Sir, but I want to start my entrepreneurship. Oh, yes. I don't want them to acquire me. Definitely. So, uh, when I say acquiring is not, no, uh, large fish eating the smaller fish. It is about to raise money from, or for example, if they are in the same domain, they would want to invest in your company. So, you would still need money, right? Yes. You can take money from the bank, which will be very expensive, it can be 10%, 11%, or based on your startup uh, rating, it can even be 12%. But a company which is interested in you and knows that this is the area they, they can grow with, they can fund you at a lower uh, interest rate or even zero interest. So then what's the profit for me in that? So uh, all that you earn, so all that you earn is shared based on the holding that you have. Yeah. So one curious question, uh, you said that uh, even if uh, the entrepreneur is in loss, still he or she will be funded or startup will be funded. So the person who is funding, kya humko use ghumate hai ya phir really he sees that even if my money loss is there, still I will be able to get something out of it which I can sell out the things. What is the case exactly? So you continue as a uttar mala kar leke bhi yeh the, the, uh, the funda here is that, let's take an example here. For example, let's say Swiggy or Oyo. They, they look like large startups, but they are doing huge losses. But the problem is, the investor knows that if I invest in this company, I have an exit which is at least going to give me. So, you must have heard about this round A, round B, round C or round 1, round 2, round 3. So, they know that this is a business idea which will continue to get funding. And at one point, I will be able to exit myself. So, rather than putting my extra money into mutual funds, I would like to put into this company. And exit at a time when I will be guaranteed of, an, of a return. Whatever happens of that company, I am not interested. That's how it runs. Yeah, thank you very much uh, uh, for the patient uh, listening and wish you all the best. I repeat again that any money of you who wants to reach out to me, uh, I have already given you my email ID and I would be very happy to help. Thank you.